What is going on, everyone? It's your boy, Siler. Today, I'm bringing you another episode of Claymore Academy. This time, we're taking it to Overgrown. So let's just get right into it. Take no prisoners, comrades. All right, let's say you're on this side and you believe they're going to come through the little trench area and most likely run to the left, like your whole squad is on the left side. Plant one right here, but face it towards the middle. So as they get that corner, that cone shape can blow them up. If you think I'll try to run to the steps, have it on the opposite side. All right, now this one, back it off from the door, kick it off to the left so they won't see it. By that time, they already ran in and commit to the run, so that's an easy kill. All right, pretty easy. All right, now everyone already knows the bottom of the step, but some people put it too close to the entrance, and if you run back past fast enough, you got it. No, back it up to the bottom of the steps, and that's basically how you do it. All right, this one, have it at the top of the steps. You see I don't have it pointing towards the steps. You have it backed off and then make it where that cone shape is facing like the top of the steps. So it will click as the head goes by. And by the time they hit the top of the steps, they dead. Alright, now let's say at the back of the door. Some people put them too close to the bottom so you run past it. Put it at the middle of the steps or at the top. Either or will work perfectly. I prefer the middle because the sooner it blows up, if they don't die, it will at least give me enough time to react. All right, now some people will plant that one in the front, right in the middle. No, you back it off towards the bookcase, and then you turn the cone shape towards the, yeah, that direction, I guess. And that's basically how you catch that one. This one, people tend to pay, um, drop the clay more in front. Don't do it. Back it off. Turn it towards the corner at the top of the steps. Even in the marathon, people have problems running past that one. All right, now this one's pretty fun. I like this one. Have it facing inwards. My boy ran by before I was even ready, but if you have it facing, you know, towards you, as they run by, it blows their ass off. All right, this one, back it up. So when they come through the trench, by the time they run in, it's pretty hard to get by, even if they went in and made a right. Or let's say you think they're going to come in and just run, you know, straight across. You can put one in the doorway, and it's like a trip wire. So when they pass that line... Got them. All right. Now, let's say you think they're going to run into this little room. Back it off, but not right there in the front. Kick it off to the side so you can't see it until you commit to the run. You're already inside. And that one works perfectly. Same thing for this one. Don't put it at the front of the door where they can see it and shoot it. Kick it off to the side and back it off so I have room to explode. All right, pretty easy. All right, now let's say you're at the back of the door. You don't want to put it on the right side because they will see it. Put it on the left side. This gets them every time. You can't get past this. Maybe the marathon people, but for the most part, you can't get past. All right, people know the bottom of the steps, but they place it wrong. Place it all the way under, facing outwards. And that's how you do it. Marathon people can get by, but for the most part, you know, you're going to get caught. All right, top of the steps, pretty simple. Just back it up. All right. All right, now let's say you're over here in that little trench area. Back it off. Kick it to the side. They run in, commit to the run. And you put it far back. So by the time they get in and click, if they back up, they're dead. And they can't back out perfectly. So that's how you get them with that one. All right, now this one's like for the snipers and stuff. Plant a claymore over here. It's harder to see it in the tall grass. And plus, if someone tries to come get you, you pretty much get them because they can't see it until they hit that corner. All right, now, if you're on this side, plant it pointing towards the truck behind the window. Therefore, if they hop through the window, it catches them, or if they try to run pie. All right, and how we end every Claymore Academy episode. If you plant a Claymore and you believe it's going to kill someone and you die, do not respawn. As long as you don't respawn, the Claymore stays active. 
as you can see in the demonstration i died didn't respawn just wait and it will still blow up all right so that's it for this episode of claymore academy on overgrown yeah we left out some claymore spots but i just wanted to cover some of the key points that those might not know all right see you next time peace